How's the day look, Captain? I don't know, Kyle. It'll work itself out. Everybody's already eaten. I'm picking this up at the office. Where is it? In the living room. I think we should do it in there. Okay. So just let me get a drink. Ease in. I'll meet you by the couch in five minutes. Fine. Can't you listen? You can hear it. Weeping. Laughing. Loving. Now is I got tickets to your concert and had to pull strings together. I've always wanted to try those. Everyone gather around. <laughs> Quiet down, everybody. Uh, someone go get Gypsy and bring her in here. I have a little trinket for Gypsy's husband. Favorite client. <laughs> a woman who knows the value of a dramatic entrance. Thank you, Gypsy. So yesterday afternoon, I got a call from Billboard and. Number six, everyone. <laughs> Number six. Nice. Thank you, Stefan. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming. And uh, this is a very nice surprise. As many of you know, I've been working on my new album. And as Gypsy goes off to do her thing tomorrow, I will go on retreat and try to deal with the pressure of the success of Inspired. <laughs> um, hey, Gypsy will be doing a song for your new album, won't she? Uh, no. Gypsy will be on tour. So, you'll just have to settle for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Looking for a date? Say, looking for a date? 
fuck off. gonna go again. Suzanne Vega with a violin is completely demeaning to Gypsy. Would you say Cheryl Crow is Sarah McLaughlin with a guitar? Sarah McLaughlin does play the guitar. Yeah, thanks for that. Why aren't we going? Gypsy, honey? Why'd you stop? Something wrong? No, I can't use any of this. What radio station is gonna play a 13-minute song? Now, how am I supposed to get her to play something shorter? Huh? The last time I asked Okay, Gypsy, uh, uh, we're going to call this pretty song number 17. Uh, take one. Spins on the phone. Oh, yeah, I want this call. Yeah, I don't want you to quote me on this, all right? You understand? Yeah, but say something like sources inside the gypsy camp admitted that she was living on the streets eating out of trash cans before a big break. You know, the whole wandering gypsy thing. Well, you know, say it without saying anything. L -l Listen to me. What about doing a thing with the homeless? You know, how they're responding to her music, they're cleaning up their lives, do some before after shots, you know? <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Just dust them off, give them a pint of whiskey, and send them on their merry way. It's not like anybody's ever gonna talk to these people again. God say <laughs> What the fuck is it now? G Gypsy, honey. W where are you going? W where is she going? W where? That was El Sun with their new single, Lather. Love that song. Still no word on alternative rock violin star Gypsy, who just didn't show up yesterday for the first date of her sold-out world tour. I know, there are a lot of disappointed Gypsy fans out there, so for now, hold on to those tickets. Playing the clubs and all that was just a lot of fun. But I never wanted to be what I became. Famous. Just very, very busy. So... That's why it wasn't all that hard to give it up. Maybe just to let it go. Because it became so hard to just play. Why'd you bring that? I didn't go. Here with Luce. I don't play anymore.
cancel it. Yes, the whole tour. Because I don't play anymore. This is, uh, this is Jimmy. Jimmy? Jesus. Where are you? How, how'd you know to call here? Uh, I'm in Boston. I just, uh, you know, I saw, I saw a CD in the window, and I, I just thought maybe you'd be there. This guy's gotta be, what, 10, 12 years? Are you, uh, do, do you wanna come down? Yeah, I could, you know, I got... I got a little time, uh, you know, maybe for 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 the uh, weekend or or. Will you look at this? What a shame. What's that, huh? The girl they found at Yasbro Beach. Yeah, it is. Okay, come on. Out, out, out. Come on. Go ahead. Out, out, out. Good boy. I can't put a word to it, you know? What's it, three days now since they found the body, and they still haven't identified her? You know, it's like she bumped her head and drowned. So what's all this noise about a, a man hunt here? Honey, why don't you go and see if you can help? Come on, man. They can get along fine without me. Listen to you. I'm happily retired now. You know, I've seen one too many of these in my time. And I got a feeling they don't grab this guy quick. 
He's going to make a move on the next girl. Have her to nose around a bit, you know? Ask a few questions. You know how it is, darling. Asking the right questions is three halves of the work. Okay. I packed your socks and your underwear and a couple of shirts and some tea in the side pockets here. I'm only got there a couple hours, darling. Take as long as you need to straighten this thing out. It's fine. I have the dogs. made myself at home. It's been a few years, but I remember where everything is. And I was starving. You should see, right? Yep. My brother around? Still asleep. He's up late. You must be pretty anxious to see him. Your paths haven't crossed for a long time. I see him all the time. On TV. Larry King last year, I think. He loves doing that show. It's just like it used to be here. <laughs> Good that you're here. I'm sorry. Uh, well, as you say, I'm sorry things couldn't have worked out sooner. Uh, let me make formal introductions. James is Gypsy. Gypsy, this is my brother James. Dare I say, long lost brother. <laughs> it has been too long. <laughs> then you tried so hard to find me. Yes. Well, I don't need to dwell. Uh, did you bring that friend you told me about? Friend? Uh, the girl. Uh, Janet, is it? She had to spend the weekend at her mother's house. Shame. If. How long are you staying? Only a day or two, or uh, uh, three. I've got some things I've got to get to. Yes, well, I'm working too. Uh, but gypsies. Keep ourselves entertained. Don't worry. Glad to hear it. So, what are you cooking? <laughs> Not much to it. That's the pisser. We didn't even know the name of the girl till yesterday. But you do have a name, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coffee cream on. Cup of hot water, please, darling. Well, who's this guy the papers keep talking about? Fed's like some drifter they've been chasing up from Philly, so we didn't release the victim's name to the papers, just told the mother. They pick him up? Not yet, but I guess he's killed a couple girls on the way up here. Yeah, so far. And... Coffee cream, water hot. Thank you. Cranberry Cove. Not bad when you get used to it. What are you thinking on this? What about a boyfriend? Friends, somebody that can place her at the time of death. Mother says no, single girl, friends, few and none. Could have been out shopping, could have been getting coffee in the diner. She could have been anywhere. But I'll tell you, the feds love this guy. Well, he looks good for it, but... Can I borrow this? Yeah, these are copies. But I could email it. You could download it on the computer I got you for your birthday. Billy, email download. I got work to do. Okay, Pop. You gonna go talk to the mother? Yeah. You'll love her. She gives you a real warm fuzzy. Hey, do me a favor. Don't make a lot of noise on this. We got an election coming up. <laughs> okay, Billy. Elections.
can't believe him. I mean, I remember him being high strung, but. He always freaks him out. I need to feel life about me, energy to draw from. It was great when we were kids. You spent your summers here, too? Yeah. I guess I knew that. How long have you guys been together? Three years. We met while he was cutting his second album. Are you working on this album, too? No. It's wonderful here. Spirits have power here. Spirits? Mm-hmm. Spirits, right. Hello? Well, aren't we chatty today? Why don't you take a break? Jimmy just got here. Quite right. Can't sit in my little room all day. Well, my dear brother Jim has come so far, taking time out of his busy schedule. Sorry. You did say your schedule was busy? Yeah. So, Kip? So, James, tell us all about it. I can't wait. You've had 10 years to come up with some new way to bait me, and this is all you've got? Sarcasm? <laughs> I got a list a mile long of new ways to drive you fucking crazy. Why'd you wait 10 years? All right, I'm sorry. So what are you doing? Well, I'm working security at bars and restaurants. Thanks. <laughs> so you eat out for free every night? I've just landed a couple of uh, big uh, restaurant accounts, and I've actually started to hire some extra people. To family. Yeah, to family. I used to be. What do you want? Why aren't you a cop anymore? They kick you out? No, ma'am, I retired. Yeah, I can see that now. What do you want? Well, I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of more questions about your daughter. Sit down if you want. Thank you. So haven't they uh, caught the guy yet? Not yet, ma'am. I'm more or less trying to get a feeling of what Janet might have been doing when she was killed. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Well, did you talk to Janet often? She didn't live far. She stopped by. Things aren't exactly sunshine and roses over at Mom's house, but... What about an ex-boyfriend? I mean, other look, all right, are... look. I don't know anything about her friends, boyfriends, or anything else. All I know is, if I was unlucky at love, she was unluckier. The only guy, uh, who she ever dated seriously that I knew about, killed himself. Jimmy. Yeah, that's him. It's just as well. I was getting tired of telling her he was a bum, like her father. I thought Mr. Hershenson passed on quite a few years ago. Yeah, he passed on. Right after he shot himself in the head. What? Any idea of anybody else I might ask about her? Any other friends? Uh... Well, sure, she brought her friends over here all the time. You think it was my fault, right? I'm the only one left.
Mrs. H. I'll do what needs to be done. I fell in love with him, and then there I was. All right. Why did you fall in love with him? Look at that. You never find these things. Yeah. You're just so different. But you're one to talk. You guys are brothers, and you're complete opposites. <laughs> yeah. I guess. So? Well... Have you ever had a flying dream? When I was a kid, when Luce and I were close, I used to dream that I was a rocket ship blasting off into space with... <laughs> with fire coming out of my feet. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Lucian, I'd been playing the clubs and around and stuff, but never with real musicians or anything. I mean, I didn't even know enough to care about the difference. Wow, another one. <laughs> you then. Yeah. This one day, well, this is before we were together. Mm -hmm. We'd been rehearsing an instrument or two at a time, and then we, all of us played, the whole orchestra. Lucian, too. And Lucian told me to just kind of thread around and about the melody, to just play. And so I did. And it was, it was one of the most amazing places I'd ever been. I was floating on the fingertips of a hundred beautiful souls. Wow. After that session, I dreamt of flying almost every night. So, how about you and Janet? When did you guys first fall in love? Hey! <laughs> hey, how come you and Lucian never kept in touch? I always felt like the... the sea was clean. Like a... like a washing machine. You know? Everything just comes out. Things aren't quite what I said about Janet. Why? What happened? She just got in the car and left me. Just, uh... Just as we were coming here. Hey, you know what? She'll come back, right? <laughs> so why don't you play anymore? I read someplace that you're even better than he is. Is that true? No. 
just, how'd you say it, different? Mm -hmm. People write to him, they say the weirdest things. One fan wrote how his first album nursed his dying father back to health, and now he plays golf professionally. <laughs> he plays golf professionally. Lucian takes that all very seriously. I'm sure he does. <laughs> oh, God. So why aren't you playing for him like you did on the last album? He won't let you play. No. That's not it. That's bullshit. He'd rather let you rot in a cage than share the glory. Gift from my mother. The sea. Your mother the sea? No, my mother Gladys. Gave me the place when she died. My inheritance. It's enchanting. In a way. Drafty. Wait! What for? Me. Oh. <laughs> no, there's something not quite right about you. I, uh, I heard it last night in the waves, the music. Something was lost or something got lost. I couldn't tell. Did you hear it, too? Yes, I did. Oh, is that your music? No. Oh. Yeah, it must have been somebody else. I didn't even think about it, really. I guess I never knew people went to school to learn. Picked it up and played. I just played. Sometimes I'd play something it didn't like, and it would squeal at me. But after a while, I'd get lost in it. It was like I... You know how the mist disappears in the morning sun? Hi, darling. Well, I'm on the trail. I checked out the dead girl's apartment. The cops already cleaned it out pretty good, but <laughs> they left me some scraps to work with. So I'm back at it. I'm gonna go talk to some people in Boston. I'll give you a jingle later. Keep a smile in front of you. down the station, answer a couple of questions. Where is he? He said his shack was up over the dune somewheres. Okay.
I think I heard this was the site of the most shipwrecks in the world and that the locals used to use lights to lure the boats in onto the rocks and they'd steal the cargo. Most shipwrecks in New England and site of the first lighthouse, but this isn't it. This story was better. <sighs> Did the sirens sing here for the passing sailors? Luring the lusty men to their deaths on the rocky shoals of forbidden love? It's a hidden reef. My story's better. Hey, come on, let's go out on the beach. It's a French horn. I never wanted to play, really. I was happy to just listen. My grandfather. He was Estonian. Maybe a real gypsy, he never said, but... I always imagined he was. But he made such beautiful patterns. Rivers of music. All my life. For years. I just listened. Spirit. That's our beach. Is it? And that happened yesterday. Do they say who she is? No. They don't know yet. Hiya. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was pretty tough, all right. No, I just, uh, I looked at Janet's apartment. Yeah, I know it was locked. Oh, yeah? Where'd they pick him up? Crazy. Don't you ever want to scream? No. Do either of you know 
What happens if I can't finish this album? Before the whole world forgets who I am? I get dumped, like old news. Lush, that's crap, and you know it. As soon as Warner's just thinks, just thinks, that I can't produce another album like Inspired, I'm gone. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter how many times I prove that I deserve it. So if you could just think for a moment how that is for me, if you could just, I mean, if it's not asking too much, could you be quiet? Oh, there's a show tonight. Yep. Two bucks coming for the band. What do they call? Jenna Miles. Folk, kind of. I'm in the mood to dance. You shouldn't pay the man. Let's hope we can stand it. Hi. Drinks? Positively, bud. Rye rocks with a side of horseradish. Whiskey and horseradish. Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> OK. What Cabernet's do you have? Uh, Woodbridge and something in a box. Freezy, I think. I'll take the one that comes in a bottle. Thanks. Be right back with those. Hey, what time does Jenna go on? Oh, pretty soon. I think. Do you know her? She's so good. She's so original. She writes all her own music, too. I'll be right back. She writes all her own music, too. Don't tell me you uh, don't recognize your guest here. He writes all his own music, too. He's been called Yanni for the Calm Line. Of course, all uh, great musicians use only one name. And they use one at all. It's nice to meet you. Tell us your name. Rhea. Wow. Cool. Oh, I'll be right there. Hey, here she comes. This is our guy. <clears throat> this is Agent Kreutz. An Agent Kreutz. This is the visionary uh, psychic I told you about. Worked with the department on several occasions. He's had some sort of dream pursuant to this case. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Jasmine. You can call me the Mystic Jasmine. Mr. Jasmine, I've worked with your kind several times on missing persons cases, though this is the first time that I've heard of a psychic actually seeking to interview a suspect in a case. <clears throat> well, I, I, I need to interpret his aura. And how do you do that? Well, I gotta ask him a couple of questions. Oh, well, okay, it will be in the observation room, and he's completely shackled, so don't worry. He isn't any danger to you. Thank you, sir. Right around the corner, Mr. Okay, sonny boy. I'm not gonna take up too much of your time. Because we both know you're gonna cook. <laughs> and since you off that college girl in Rhode Island, where they kill misfits like you quickly and efficiently, you are gonna cook soon. So.
Jesus, you're right. Gypsy? I'm sorry. My God, what are you doing here? You're on tour. Yes, it is you. God, you, you are so brilliant. Would you play with us, please? No. I just wanted to dance. <laughs> come on, come on up, please. You gotta play. You're not playing? God, how can you not play? Are you okay? Did something happen to you? No, nothing happened. I just, uh, I don't play anymore. Excuse me. It's always the same with you people. You, you think, what, you're her friend somehow? Please, go back. Don't you have some gig at Mount Rushmore or something? You astound me. You think because you can carry a tune? Doesn't that... anybody just play anymore? So, do you have a boyfriend? You are Let's go. Make these little shit bars. I just wondered why you killed Janet. Hmm? Janet Hershens. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah? Yeah, I did kill her. I killed her. She was a cunt. She deserved it. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Perky little berry like that. Yeah. Did she have perky tits? Is that, is that what your thing is, huh? You the perky maniac or what? The girl next door had perky tits. She you must be a very powerful psychic to read an aura under fluorescent lights. He's one of the inner circles. You talk to your sister, you say goodbye to her yet? Fuck you! Bitch. What do you think? I think they should fry the guy. What about his aura? Oh. They didn't do it. That isn't enough to reopen the case. You already confessed, and it's an election. Yeah, an election. Yeah, sure. They close the case as soon as they get the first flesh of suspect. Listen, Pop, the Boston PD's out of it. As far as the department's concerned, we caught the guy. He already confessed. Bring me something concrete, maybe we can turn that around. But until then, you're on your own. OK, Billy, sure. I'll give you a call if something comes up. Hey, Pop, keep a smile on the phone. Because he kept wandering off into Canada. <laughs> when he died, he'd asked that he be buried like his ancestors, standing out in the field behind the barn so he could wander forever. So my great aunt, Trina, put an apple seed in my great-uncle Canada's mouth so he wouldn't go hungry. Gypsy, honey. He loved apples. A couple of years later, this is when I was six or seven, the seed had grown into a full tree, and it had moved. Or so Drina thought. Year by year, it got further and further away from the barn. By the time I left, it had reached the forest and disappeared amongst the trees. <laughs> he was off wandering again. Is that true? What's the difference? It's a great story. So, 
You never tell me how your mother died. No. Uh, in truth, I don't know. Nobody does, really. Except maybe Jimmy. I was 15. And it was the year we found out that my father was not Jimmy's father. My father rejected her and Jimmy, which was... He died not two months after that, so we never got a chance to retract it. But... He rejected Jimmy. And we found Jimmy catatonic in the corner of the kitchen and my mom dead on the floor. She'd fallen on a knife, impaled herself. We never really found out what happened. It was either freak accident or right after that Jimmy went into the hospital and they shipped me off to prep school after that I didn't even know where he was until he called I mean the fact is I barely know him so what are you gonna do to well, I mean, do? What is there to do? Seems to be able to take care of himself. Looks like it's gonna be a good day, Captain. Let's drop some traps at Pemmet Point. Maybe. Watch your line there, Kyle. my cap and come home, but it turns out Janet's boyfriend is still alive. In fact, he had a doctor's appointment last week. I guess that whole thing about his killing himself was just a story Janet told her mother. Anyway, this Jimmy kid is really turning out to be a twist. But his doctor gave me a line on the kid's older brother. And since I seem to be the only dog sniffing this trail, I gotta go check it out. Don't wait up, darling. Smiles. Set. Yeah. Sister Ray. I'll get to have a last on the horn. Don't say a name over the radio, for God's sake. Excuse me, young man. You know the group called Lucian? Lucian. It's just him. 
New Age. Second Isle. Take these. Super. Who's this gypsy girl they talk about there? She's pretty cool. That's her album right there. She plays the violin. She makes it up as she goes along, you know, like improv. She's got this really tripped out video where she flies to the clouds. It's really cool. She only came out with that one album, but it started the whole thing. You know, like Marilyn Manson plays violin now and all? She started that. And then last week, poof. On. Right before she was supposed to go out on tour, she like flew off the face of the earth and no one knows where she is. Thank you and have a nice day. Right back at you, kiddo. Kiddo. I used to beg Oma to let me stay up after dinner just to hear him playing when all the grown ups would talk and drink, sing sometimes. But he would always play. I used to hear it when I'd fall asleep. When I was flying weightless in a half-waking dream. It was magic. It was pure, joyful love. It was pure God. Pure magic. When I was 13, he died. And I loved him. He was my father and my grandfather. I loved him with the single-hearted devotion of a little girl. He had more wrinkles than a raisin, he'd say, like rings in a tree. The dreams. Hey. Oh, hey. Thought you were my boyfriend. I thought you said you didn't have a boyfriend. Yeah, well. Okay. I was just gonna go for a swim. You wanna come? Oh my god, it's cold! Come on in! Hey! Don't! as fresh as they come, but I can't sell them to you. I need a permit for that. You can get them up to the store. Yeah, just as fresh up there. Captain, I can tell from your wide smile and your lively eyes that you're a wise man who understands the need to appease the gods. And as you know, the gods demand only the freshest three-pound lobsters. Those angry gods? Wrathful when they're hungry. Founders, huh? Well, I can't take your money. What do you got to trade? Kiss. Or something. <laughs> 
Well, I'm sure a kiss would be a fair price indeed, but... Uh... All right, I'll take a song. But I warn you, lobsters will only be as good as a song. The sun and the moon have conspired with my wishes. Tonight we'll eat lobster with wine. Your fate is foretold with these treasures you hold. And oh, what is yours will be mine. Now I'm feeling divine. I need song, I need wine, I need three of your fishes. So grant me my wishes. <laughs> and now, what is yours? Never was a better bargain made. Yeah. Here we go. How about that one? Give him a good help. One more. Come on, you there. <laughs> Thanks. You all right? Anything I can help you with? Ah, uh, uh, just on my way up to Yarsbro Beach. I thought I'd stop and appreciate the view we have. Yeah, it's a little gray this time of the year, but I like it. Where does this river run to? Well, it runs right out to sea by Pamut Point. Yeah, this is a salt river. It flows in and out with the tides. What's it doing now? Oh, it's coming in. Low tides, 8.04 p.m. <laughs> yeah, best time for sea bass right out the point. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be out there later. Donald, you better go back down to the docks. Go give Captain Jack a hand and, and hurry up. Enjoy the view. Thanks. What can I get for you? Uh, ham on rye, chips, and a cup of hot water. You tea people kill me. Did you happen to catch the show at the beach comma the other night? That's a young folks' place, honey. They wouldn't even let me in over there. Too afraid I'd steal all the men. You might at that, darling. You just might at that. Anything else? Yeah. Can you tell me how to get to the docks? Down the street, take a right at the store. And it's kind of hard to miss it. Thanks. Lobster fest. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and I love thinking that maybe some of the people that would come and see would feel the way I felt when Grandpa played. And I'd fallen in love with Lucian. I only meant to let him create for a while till my mind was quiet. But. And people started getting greedy about who owned the music. So here we are, searching for a muse long dead in the beach house of his youth. And my mind is quiet. Hey, Captain. You're a reporter. You missed the party. They all left about a half an hour ago. Oh, at least they got the right boat. John Dunbar, Captain. Go ahead. You mind if I ask you a few questions about that girl you pulled out at the drink? Why, you got me? Foreman. Foreman. And you're not anymore. Why should I answer your question? See these folks around? Ain't 
her, a different guy. She died too? No, but she might. <laughs> If you were about to be thrown into a pot of boiling water, you'd be upset, too. They say if you listen closely, you can actually hear them scream. No! No! Not the pot! Yes, death, death to Lobster Man. <laughs> she always drop them in head first. That way they're already dead when their tail hits the water. Poor little thing. Poor little delicious things. Hello. Evening, folks. Sorry for the intrusion. We're doing a routine canvassing of the area. May I come in? Of course. One more merrymaker for the festival. Festival. My wife's making a joke. Please, come in. Can I offer you a brandy for the cold? No, I'm working, thanks. What can we do for you? Yeah, what's up? Were you folks around the other day when we found that girl on the beach? No, but we read about it. Who was she, anyway? A girl from Boston. Did any of you happen to notice any strange characters around in the last few days? None, other than my brother here. <laughs> uh, what about the beachcomber? Gypsy saw him. You saw him, miss? Yeah, I bumped into him on the beach, but he's harmless. Did you see him? No, I haven't. I know you. You're that guy. My wife loves you. She dumped me in a second for you. <laughs> Told me so herself. Not if she knew him like I do. <laughs> OK. Thanks for your help. Have a good evening, officer. So, make one up. OK. Remember how we'd run from the house toward the beach in the summertime? Yeah, right. We'd run down the path, and the beach was never very crowded, so. Right, so we'd, we'd fly out over the path down to the crest of the dune, and then zoom, <laughs> we'd jump. And the light from the water would hit you, and the the roar of the waves was like a rocket. You'd fly for what seemed like a year. Yeah. <laughs> the beach was 100 feet below you. My god. It was so pure and so light. God, I don't know what it was, but <laughs> it sure was fun. I don't think I've felt anything like it since. That was the summer that Mom died. Wow. That was a good story. <laughs> Fisher cut bait, Detective. I'm looking for a guy that might be with her. Maybe the guy you saw. That guy? Well, they were here before. They bought a couple of the, uh, were asking about some lobsters. The girl you found, local girl, right? Did you know her? Sure. Scotty used to date his sister. Hey, Scotty, come here. Uh, any idea where they might be staying? The Osborne Beach, maybe? Maybe. Scotty, this guy's uh, kind of a cop. Yeah, Scotty, uh, you know the body you found. You got any idea how she died? She drowned, man. She used to go swimming every day. Kind of crazy this time. Any idea it? where she liked to swim? Sackle Beach. Sackle Beach, you sure? Yeah. Why? We picked her up around Pamuk Point. That's against the current. So? So she'd float south, away from the Pamuk. Captain, if you wanted to lose a body at sea, where would you go? I mean, think like a wacko for a minute. Well. Drop her in over the pier. She's just gonna bump around in the harbor. Off the beach, she'd probably back, end up back on the shore unless she caught a riptide or something. That's kind of touch and go. I don't know. I don't think I can help you. Maybe the Pamet River. Hammock? 
If you dumped the body there, where would it float? That might work. Yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. Probably float out there. She might end up on Yarsborough Beach, but most likely right off of Panic Point. That's where we pick Ray up. Listen, Captain, I'm going to try to get the police back into this thing. Now, maybe you can help by putting your weight behind it. You know what I mean? Somebody local. I don't think they'll give a hang what I got to say. You want me to mention this suspect guy of yours? Hey, whatever you got to do to get him to go see this guy you're talking about. He's too close to this girl. No, really. I can play anything. Anything? Yeah, anything. <laughs> well, I mean, with a few minor exceptions. Not just beating it on the table. Yeah, sometimes, but usually I can do better than that. <laughs> OK, Ludwig Vaughn, here. Oh, this is easy. Can be called an actual talent. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. I don't. I don't hear anything. <laughs> you ready? Gypsy's theme. <laughs> Please, make them stop calling. Please, come on, talk to them, at least. Okay, I have a story. Oh, good. I got a story. <laughs> Remember that time when mom and uh, your dad were uh, getting stoned? This was, you know, this was still in the in the seventies, right? And grandma was there. Uh. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> I was so creative, I was always afraid of what I come up with. <sighs> what? What kind of crap is that? What, why do you have to pollute everything by being so fucking arrogant? Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, come on. Let's go for a swim in the moonlight. Come on, it'll be fun! It's, it's like freezing out this time of year. Come on, we'll go for a walk. Well, perhaps it wasn't that bad. When you first came in the club, Johnny Moab wouldn't even let you backstage. He'd never even heard of him or his first album. <laughs> Those guys were great. Yeah. Maybe a little overprotective. Johnny Moab was a Neanderthal. <laughs> Johnny was a sweetheart. <laughs> but he never took to you, did he? No. You should have seen Gypsy when I found her, James. All leather and fringe. <laughs> Well, I mean, she turned out okay. <laughs> Gypsy, where'd you see that beachcomber guy? I haven't thought about him in years. On the beach. Cool old guy. I saw Shanny. Shaq. He was always just kind of there, watching the world go by. 
My father ran into him a few times. Kind of unsettled him, I recall. James, what happened to your dad? He died. I saw him once through the front window of a store. Come on. I'll race you to the water. Uh, no, I just want to have a nice leisurely walk. Oh, come on! Let's launch off the dunes. No, I don't want to. Oh, what's your fucking problem? Uh, look. All right. <laughs> the sky is crying angels' white tears. And the moon is drowning. I keep expecting in... to find his mind washed up on the beach, all white from the salt, like a shark. I wonder if it'll still work. What? Watches don't work either. You can't fix them. It's a shame, really. What are you talking about? I remember him when he was a boy. His mother was a tragedy to break any boy's heart. But I think, I think he just lost his mind. How can you say that? He had a difficult childhood. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Someone's coming. Who? You put some distance between you. Who are you talking to? That beachcomber was here. Who? For a minute. Didn't you see him? God. He never makes any sense. No way. Where'd he go? I don't know. He just kind of disappeared. Weird. of a musician. Oh. Well, I know the issues involved in a way that you will never know anything. You, you know, and all those like you can rot in your mediocrity and your acceptance of it. Hey. Excitable boy. What do you mean your mother was a tragedy? I told him not to disrespect our mother. No, no, it wasn't Lucian. It was the beachcomber. It's okay, Jimmy. Don't worry. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Uh, it's just... I need to know. I need to understand why. What happened? She died. When, when I was... Uh, it was my last... Summer here, she killed herself. I guess she just had enough. Wow. Well, no wonder. I mean, no wonder you guys... It just doesn't give anything anymore. I feel like I'm stuck out in the cold. No fire. There are other ways to find that fire. I know. But I'm losing those two. You'll never lose those. Um, what was it like to lose your mother? I mean, was it different for both of you? It made me angry. Sure, that's normal. I hated her for it. It's okay. Jimmy, you're loved. Lucian loves you. I love you, Jimmy. She wasn't like you. <laughs> you 
you so warm. And she was a liar. You'd never lie to me. Of course not. you back. Come on. But when we went to pick up the body, we couldn't find a beach coma guy. Did you go to his house? Yeah, but I don't think anybody's lived there in quite a while. Excuse me. Yeah, just a sec. Excuse me. Look, Lenny, I can't talk to you right now. I've got to help this guy. Yeah, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a guy. He's got a house here in town. His name is Jimmy Sturfeld. And you, uh... Detective First Class John Dunbart in Boston Metro. Retired. Well, what do you want with the guy? I got a good idea. He killed that girl you found on the beach the other day. This is her suitcase. I figure he deep-sixed it after he whacked her. But on the radio, they said that they caught that guy. No, that guy didn't do it. Why not? Because another guy did. Now, if I were you, I would give me that address so I can get over there before he kills the next one. I don't know. Hackettstown Police. Yeah, hi, Captain. Yeah, he's right here. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I was... Yeah. Then people started saying that his last album was great only because I wrote it, which is not true. And so, God, such a horrible thing to say. And we never got out of that. And it isn't what my grandpapa meant it to be. I need to fly again. I need a dream. Right. The string section of an orchestra resonates in a register very near to that of the vocal register, the human voice. Now, great composers throughout history, myself included, utilize the strings as the lyrics of the piece, metaphorically speaking. It, now, the violin is in the upper register of the strings as a whole, like uh, a boy's choir in the vocal register. The gypsies say that the violin is the voice of an angel put in human hands, and you must be worthy to play it. So why do you think gypsy isn't worthy? I don't know what you think she's told you, or, or what you think you've guessed. But I, more than anyone, want to see Gypsy play. I found her. I brought her to the world's attention. Then why did you quit? <laughs> Who wants the world's attention? It is true that her style began to infect my music. Well, no, I don't mean that in a pejorative sense. Look. Maybe it's just an inevitability of two creative musicians playing in proximity. A muse is a fickle mistress. <laughs> you wouldn't understand that. Is that a gypsy? Have you lost your muse? <laughs> lost? I threw her out of the house. <laughs> Whether she plays, doesn't play, it's up to her, not me. You can't even admit that it's your fault, can you? That it's your jealousy that's driven her away from her music? Away from you, even. She needs someone to take care of her now. And it isn't you. She loves me now. No, Jimmy, you misunderstood. Lucian.
You know, I, I'd hoped that you could change, but time always tells us that, Jim. I mean, you got what you deserved. She loves me. She told me so. And if you say she doesn't, You know, knock it off. Stop being so melodramatic. Shake, quiver all you like. I'm going to bed, and you know, I don't want to see you here in the morning. fingernails feel so good I never said that. Because I didn't. I know. Stop it. Why can't I play it without it becoming an insult? The music doesn't belong to you. You can't control it. Go ahead. Mock me. Why, for fuck's cunting sake, has God inflicted you upon me like some... Mirror that reflects only failure. Your talent means so little to you. 
that you'd throw it away like it was nothing. I'll throw it away if it's filthy. Go ahead. Throw it all away. It's not supposed to hurt like this. To make me feel ashamed. My God, I can't get away from this weapon you turned it into. I am trying so hard to stop, to separate it. I just can't. Do you really think that you can just throw it all away? Avoid every phone call forever? Aren't you happy? Now you can play uninfected by my music. It was you who made my music. Lucian, you don't have to say it. No, what? Tell the truth. Admit that if I had your talent, if I had your fucking genius, I wouldn't throw it away for anything. Not for anything. Not for you. And you threw it all away for me. Don't you see the irony in that? I didn't throw it away for you. That's the irony. You're just so self-possessed, you assumed that I did. My God, Lucian, it used to be so pure the music between us you don't have a choice you can't escape it even if i can't lucian you have the sacred gift lucian what i think there's something wrong with the jimmy what it's jimmy jimmy what the <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? She's a liar! She's a fucking liar, Lucian! What the fuck are you talking about? Jimmy, just calm Don't you down. see how she's trying to turn us against each other? It's all a bunch of fucking lies. Jimmy, Jimmy, look, 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 Jimmy. Slow down. Explain yourself. Just look at it. All the way back to your album. Shouldn't help you. She stole the music and then she came to me and she told me that she was in love with me. Jimmy, stop saying that. It's not true. It was a lie. Just like before. Just like when we were brothers. When she told us we were brothers. Look at his eyes. Jimmy, Jim, Jimmy. That wasn't Jimmy. That was somebody else a long time ago. No. No. You, you just gotta understand, you gotta get rid of her. Then we can be happy again. We can be brothers like we were last summer. Why do you always lie to me? Liar! Jimmy, Jimmy. Huh? You're here for the boy. Yeah, yeah, the musician's brother. Did he kill the waitress? Yeah. Then why did you tell the police? Well, you're here, ain't you?
attention to what I'm saying. Listen to me. Gypsy is not a liar. It was all me. All this time I lied. She has the real talent. And Jimmy, listen to me. It was all a lie. And she told it to destroy our lives. I'll kill her for it. Jimmy, no. I'll kill her for it. Put some distance between you and him. Jimmy, I'm not, I'm not your father. You better call it in. It's okay. It's okay, Mrs. It's all over. It's all over. <laughs>
Cause everything I need is right 